28th day of January on this date in history. Let's start back in 1956. The pelvis. Elvis. Elvis. Uh, making his first television appearance. He's saying, Heartbreak Hotel. On a show called Stage Show. It was a variety show hosted by, uh, I believe, the Dorsey Brothers. He appeared six times on that show before making his big launch onto the Ed Sullivan Show of Shows. Died on the state, Tsar. Peter the Great died on the state in 1725. His last words apparently were rumored to be, give everything back to... <coughs> Couldn't finish the sentence. So, no official orders on who to give it back to. I think it was the uh, ancestors of Randall J. Barton, the Englishman. Henry VIII died on this date. Ah, if he could have lived a little longer, he would have had a lot more history. 1547, he was only 53 years of age. Head of the church. Of course, Henry VIII, he was, he was. Born on this date. Fabulous artist. Maybe one of my favorite modern artists, Jackson Pollock. Enjoy a couple of Jackson Pollocks here. Jackson Pollocks once said, Abstract art is abstract. <laughs> uh, Mikhail Borisnikov. He was uh, born on this date in 1948. He once said that if you ever see Fred Astaire dance, you wonder why you're in the same profession. Fred Astaire above all others. And Nick Carter, dancer, Backstreet Boy, 1980. 1973, U.S. officially ended its involvement in the Vietnam War, the Paris Peace Accords, and the horrific scenes of the helicopters and people clutching trying to get out. 1986, a tragedy unfolding on national television. I watched it. Ooh, it gives me the creeps. Challenger space shuttle blew up upon takeoff. Mm, seven great individuals losing their lives. It's on the state in history. The 28th day of January. Thank you.